It's time for the Lego Movie tier list. Or uh, at least the characters, because this is gonna be you. This is gonna... This is, this is gonna be a meltdown. We're going to we're fuck this shit Shin up. We're talking Chernobyl Shinor kind of meltdown. Chernobyl. Yeah. Chernobyl. Yes. Okay, who should we start with? Um, <laughs> no, you didn't press anything, it's okay. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie do, man. Uh, okay. Um, who should we start with? Uh, I guess we should just start the order that is in right now. Okay. I don't know if so. Can, I. Yeah, they can hear. I'm pretty sure they can hear you. Uh, let's see. So, Metal Beard. What do we feel about him? He's a, okay, in the first movie, he's kind of annoying and just generally... He comes in half-hearted and is just like, I... Yeah, you see. Yeah. In the second movie, he's an icon. He's a straight-up icon. Yeah. So... I put him as, I like, I like you, but do I love you? Yeah, I, I feel the same. Like, he... I think he's. I like he. I like him as a character in the first movie a lot. Actually, uh, he's. He's a prop, <laughs> but I love it. So I'm going to put him there too, honestly. Yeah. Okay, Emmett. Best boy. Best boy has never. That is that is that no question. Yeah. We love him. <laughs> not there's not a single thought behind those eyes. Will do. He will literally do anything to save the people that he cares about. He can be a little bit naive. Yeah. And just generally kind of stupid. But he is a sweet golden boy and we love him. We love him very much. He's my favorite character out of all of them. So uh, yeah, for all those reasons you just mentioned. And I think he's absolutely adorable. So I'm going to put him there too. Okay, Benny, what oh, do yes, we the say? Fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, the fire alarm. Where are we going to put fire alarm? Um okay. So the man is just Speedy, he's speedy, Gonz he's speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, he's really fast. He's forced into a spacesuit. That's yeah, basically what he is. Exactly. Um, I would, I would, I would put him in a good tier because I do, I, I do like him. I do relate yeah. to him, and he was one of my first ever I love characters. <laughs> so I mean, I, I, I put him on. I like you, but do I love you? Yeah, because I don't like him as much as I like him. I'm a simp, and I have a problem. Okay. Unikitty! Unikitty! What do we do about her? Okay, uh, she's... She's cat. She... Okay, in the first movie, she has a little bit more character than she does in the second movie. Indeed. Unfortunately. Yeah. But, here's the, when, when it comes to her character, she's really uplifting, and she really just wants... She wants people to, like, be happy around her, because it makes her yeah. happy. And... Therefore, she doesn't need to go into an emotionally endured rampage. Yeah. In other words, we love her. <laughs> because, I mean, she's a cat, and I love cats, so I just have yeah, to love her. Love and now it's time. Okay, he's difficult to put into it. Because at the one side of the coin is, he is one of the most capable villains in the, this entire goddamn franchise. Yeah. Which Major Best managed to accomplish something that not... The other that the villains, other villains in this franchise, did, really could not. Just think yeah. about it. Business had eight years to to like make the world to put the world at a point where yeah. everything would like go down for it. Yeah. Jo the Joker needed help, but at the same time, he 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 like he he's having fun with it. Yeah, he doesn't really care. No. Like, just he's just vibing because of the sense. He's just vibing being a villain in the sense that, oh, I'm just a bad guy because that's how everything's always And that's the, that's the same for Garmadon. He he just does it because he thinks it's fun. Yeah, and even that Garmadon is the least capable of all of them. Man can't yeah. even conquer a city and mm. it's been like a good year. Yeah. It's, he, Garmadon is fucking pathetic. <laughs> yeah. But on the other side, so in that case, Rick Stangevist is the most capable of the villains yeah. that we've had here. But he's the most manipulative and most horrible, like, in 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 personality. So I, I, I'd say... No, that, that actually... I, I'd say... I like to put him, like, in the middle here, actually. In, in the aspect of him, him being a villain, that's great. That's yeah. great. Because a good villain is that. A good villain is someone who is manipulative. Someone who does everything it takes yeah. to yeah. counter a goal. When it comes to Rick Stangevist... Being the 
other side of it. He's just a meme. At He's this just point. a meme in the fat in the fandom and everything. My mother motherfucker was led onto the Tumblr sexy man Wikipedia. I. I'm not, not gonna lie, I, I think I'm gonna put him a fuck off, just because, like... Just the fact that we hate him. Kind, like, kindly, kindly fuck off, just... I don't, I don't hate him, because I think he's a good villain. Yeah. But, seriously, fuck off! <laughs> That's just generally what we think about him, because he's a great villain, he's a great villain in the, in the aspect of everything, and his, his backstory is really tragic and everything. Yeah. But when it comes to the fact that how he acts and everything, and he's like, Man, you were such wasted potential, my guy. Yeah, girl. I mean, he almost <laughs> killed Emmett, so... Yeah, he's pretty brutal. He's brutal. Okay, bad cop. Sigh. <laughs> Sigh? He's just... He's... I don't know. Like... I... Is it either you, you, you know or I don't actually care on there him? There should be something in the middle there, because... Yeah, I because mean... The, fa let's, the, the fandom cares a lot about him, but we... I, I'd put him there. I don't think he's bad, like... No, like, I don't know, because in the first movie, but, okay, Bad Cop and Good Cop are, like, they're, they're different, they're, they are yin and yang, in, yeah. in, in a sense. And, I mean, he is, he's a well-written well character, but, uh, like, he, uh, he, he doesn't really do anything that's huge. No, he's just there. Man's yeah. just there until he was left to die. He barely has business. any lines. So yeah. I mean, I, I don't. And the fandom has hyped him up so much, so much more than anything. Yeah. That so ever, that he actually does. For someone like for we we like the characters that don't get the light here. I'm sorry, fans of Bad Cop, but we are not that excited about. We don't about care. Him. We don't care about your opinion. <laughs> Shut up! No! Don't be rude! Fuck you! Okay, Lucy. My queen. <laughs> yeah, you're queen, but she's still a manipulative speaking bitch. Of, speaking of a queen, we forgot about Evra. Oh god, we forgot, we forgot about Ron Evra! And Mayhem! No! Oh. <laughs> oh god, we need to take them another time. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do it some. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, okay. <laughs> okay, about Lucy. She's a kind of a manipulative bitch. Lucy is kind of a difficult character to talk, talk about in this sense, because... In the first movie, as in general, I, I think she's pretty great because yeah. we she is she's a strong she's a strong female character who has goals and who wants to achieve them, but can't do that because of the fact how everything like how things are and everything. Her backstory is interesting and everything. Yeah, and she does want what's best for people. Like, yeah. she's not selfish and no. anything in that case. And then uh, the second movie rolls around, and then she's suddenly verbally abusive. Yeah, she's kind of, she is certain verbally abusive. Yeah, like, in the, so... In the, like, in the be beginning of it. But yeah. she takes steps to better herself. Yeah. Which is good. She, okay, if I can just refer quickly. It's kind of like in in Shira. if any of y'all who's watched who is watching this video has seen it. In season five, Catra, a character that, that we've seen all throughout, who has been a bad guy, she actively, like, she sees that she has faults and everything, and she starts to actively take, like, steps, yeah. steps to control, like, her anger, which is the thing yeah. that is, I'm pointing out to. I think, I mean, I she the same energy as that was same vibe. Yeah, she's a good character, but, I mean, she's not that well written in that regard, no. but we still like her. Yeah. Like, so like, I'm gonna put I'm a, her in I yeah. like you, but do I love you? Yeah. I'm a simp for a goddamn reason. Yeah. Good cop. Good cop. May you rest in peace as my Yeah, guy. man. We miss you, guy. Miss you. Okay. So I'd put him I'd put him here too, honestly, because he may not do much, but I think he's on the same level as Benny, where he's like kind of there. He's just kind of there and he's just being the good vibe in the in the yeah. moment. And honest and like when he eventually gets like killed off in the yeah. middle of the movie, it's kind of sad. Yeah, it because, is sad. I because... was uh, I was sad over that a full week after I watched the movie. I cried <laughs> to myself to sleep and I hate it. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, it's Sad. So sad. Okay. Okay, man. Batman is annoying in the first movie. Don't at me. Yeah. No, I'm gonna put him. I, I personally gonna put him in. Eo, no. Because in the first movie, 
Batman is just he's a normal he's the normal Batman. Yeah. Right? He doesn't really he, go he's, through he's, an arc. He's just no. like there to He's just there to be annoying. <laughs> he's there to be the love rival because uh, of course we we can't have a popular movie without the without the love triangle here, right? That is true. That is because true. uh Batman and Lucia are together a wild style. They wild style. Wild style. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they were they are together in the first movie and then Lucy leaves Batman for Emmett because she's like, Oh my god, this man this man A simp <laughs> <laughs> Because she said, Oh my god, a simp <laughs> Girl. Girl a simp Yeah, but he's just he's just there annoying and yeah. very self absorbed. Yeah, and that's it. But in but in the second movie on the other hand, he be, he's like Okay, I don't, I, I don't like him that much in the second movie I, either. I like, like I guess this is not, but I kind of like him. I like him better in the second movie than yeah. in the first movie. I mean, he's a, he's a bit over exaggerated in the second movie. I think I, like he's more of a main character than he ever was in the first movie. Yeah, they did that just for like uh, the whole uh, marketing purposes. Yeah. Uh, so and it also like, but it also kind of makes sense because of the fact of how the Lego Batman and everything. Yeah. So it would make sense to just put him like there. Yeah. But I mean, he's still an you know because he is—he's got a nasty personality, and I don't like. He's him. a narcissist, my guy. Yeah. He's a narcissist. Yeah. Okay. Business. Business. First villain that we have. Um, I think he's hilarious. I mean, he kind of is. Motherfucker has eyebrows more bended than flex tape. Yeah, I, he could, could go. He could compete with Rex because they both got those eyebrows going yeah. on. <laughs> they, both, they both got eyebrow game. Eyebrow game. So, uh, <laughs> one thing that like business the whole thing is he wants. He's a perfectionist. He's a yeah. perfectionist as much as a perfectionist can be. Yeah. He wants every everything and everyone to abide to his rules, and he wants to make everything permanent. And that's what the whole first movie is about because yeah. he has found a relic. That will cause everyone to be frozen, aka Craggle, aka Super Glue. Super Glue? No, it's Crazy Glue. <laughs> crazy glue. It's, it's Super Glue. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. It's it's Super Glue, aka Crazy Glue. Yeah. And he wants everyone to be frozen in time. Yeah. Business is a dictator, straight up. Yeah. He has. Uh, like he he's a competent guy. He's uh, he's he's like the second worst villain in the franchise. Compared to Rex, Rex is the first one I yeah, put okay. in there. If we're talking like uh, from top to bottom, we have Rex Danger Vest, uh, Business, Joker, and then we have Garbodon. He's uh, like in the bottom. No, 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 Risky Business is not at the bottom. Yeah, but he's, he doesn't really count. I count him! Yeah, he's, okay, if we're talking about the movies. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just, just speaking facts here. I'm yeah, just, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, you, okay. Uh, okay. Where where do we put business? Um, I mean, I we don't actually talk that much about him. As a, I mean, personally, no, we don't talk about him that much because he's he, just a good villain. He's a good villain, and there's nothing I can change about that. No, I mean, do the I, man is the man is. I, I put him. I put him here because I, I I really like him as a villain, but I don't really actually care about what he's up to or what he's doing. No, because you know what he does in the second movie after he, he gets quote unquote reformed, he just leaves and goes and play golf for five years, leaving the people that he quote unquote protected to be vulnerable to the aliens that eventually comes down and attack. Yeah, that's fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it. Yeah, we accidentally missed two characters, uh, but we we can see them. We don't need to. Yeah, them about, we can we can we can talk about them. Uh, we don't have to talk about them on the list. We can just say that we're part of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. First on first one. Sweet Mayhem. Miku. Yeah. Uh, Katsune Miku. Uh, personally, yeah. from my side, me Bregatsky. I'm sorry. Oh well. Uh, I uh, I don't actually care about her. I don't really care about. Her. She, she's not. She's not. She was dope from the posters, but then she she, she kind of lost that magic on me. How about you? Um, honestly, kind of the same. Like she was hyped up to be a Boba Fett kind of character. Yeah. And she would. She was really tough and everything. And then when she like when her face is revealed and everything. Yeah, something her, her dropped. Whole, she, she her just her whole persona just dropped. 
Something and we get dropped. to see that she's actually the lead, uh, vo the popular Vocaloid singer, Hatsune Miku. Oh, who could have thought? <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's general, like, I don't, I don't... I mean, I mean she, she's, her character she's design good. is kind of cool. Yeah, I her like character it. design is nice. I like her hair. Style. Yeah. Her but... color palette is great. Yeah, but she doesn't really do anything, more no. than being, like... I mean, she's... More than being shipping fuel for the fandom. Uh, oh, <laughs> roast. <laughs> no, I, I, I got to ski more like Shade got ski. Oh damn! I don't mean it like that, girls. Uh, <laughs> don't take it. Don't take it personally, guys. We're just joking around, alright. This yeah. is this is how this is how we cope with everything, alright? Don't yeah. at us. Uh, okay, so we put her in the I don't really care category. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where she lands, I suppose. Yeah. She, where she lands. Oh, she flying. Yeah. But then, then uh, what is it? That her when her, she she has her helmet and everything. She's badass. She's really cool. She's really cool when, especially like when she comes, you know, when she comes into the, like the whole apocalypse thing and is like, if we get, mm, I'm General Mayhem, Intergalactic Naval Commander of the Star System. Open the gate. Yeah, that's. There's nice. a reason why I have that. Why I know that thing by heart. Yeah. It's kind of cool how she just walks up, her wings like go up, go yeah, up and everything. Yeah, she was as as we said. A badass until she's cool in the first part of the second movie. Then she just drops. Yeah. It's like when. Uh, and she never said she's like in the middle of the movie. She it's the final thing where she she doesn't. Talk that much after that. No, she like, just gives up. After Rex, uh, uh, Rex, Emma, and Lucy meet up. Yeah. And then, like when Emma and Lucy are reunited in the middle yeah. of it, she just kind of isn't there anymore until it's time for the last battle when she and Lucy has a fight and eventually yeah. Lucy learns the truth about. Yeah. Everything. Even after that, she she just completely stops talking for like the rest. Of I the mean, movie. she she does not actually. She doesn't. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, what the hell are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. I'm no, sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. I was just thinking about it. She, Mayhem was the first one to insinuate the, the Everything's Not Awesome song. Yeah. She, she explained everything. Oh god, everything. I forgot about that. And she has a good moment when Emmett's about to run, when Emmett is running up the cake, and she's yeah. looking down like, oh, run. <laughs> oh, it's the guy of a little. Oh my god, it's the guy that I bullied. <laughs> And she yeah. also has like a little moment at the end with Benny. Yeah, she... that's kind of that's kind of sweet. It's kind of cute, honestly. Uh, okay, moving on. We're not moving on. All right. Queen, queen, queen. Yeah. Queen. Okay, well, well, straight up, we put her in the love tier because she's absolutely wonderful. She's everything I, as I aspire to be as a yeah. quote-unquote theater kid. <laughs> she she's pretty much unproblematic, and I, I really like him. She, her, her, I'm sorry, not him. <laughs> or, or or is it a they? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so, I, I mean, I, I, I'd have to put her up with the non-problematic characters, because yeah. the, the other ones beneath them are pretty problematic, even though Benny is simply vibing. He's more above Metal Beard, actually. Yeah, but, yeah really. And Good Cup too. So th those two should be like over here. <laughs> yeah. They should be here. Whatever us character, she's like really like flamboyant and everything. And yeah, she's she's she's, she's, she's she's she has she puts up two musical numbers just yeah. to prove a point, and it's amazing. She's pretty sheery, and I like her attitude. Yeah, and she has she's like she's a. She's just a, com a confident queen, honestly. Yeah, she's, she's she knows really what she's doing. And the the one thing that her character that is a downgrade is she has super, really, really, really bad communication skills. Yeah, that's the only really bad thing about her. Yeah. That's it. like Emmett has this. His problem is like being that he yeah being being uh, too happy and too helpful with everyone. And Uni Kitty has her anger issues. Whatever has the communi communication issue, so that that's why I put the, that's why they're like uh, at the top because they're the least problematic ones. Yeah. The reason why those characters are down here is because Benny. Yeah, he's, he's not. He's a good character who's. Well, yeah, but he's got other problems. He doesn't really have much to do, honestly. No, he which doesn't, doesn't do show off like what kind of character he could have been.
No, and that's Aubert's quirk is that he's really loud and annoying. Yeah, even though he has one of the most iconic lines in the second movie. Yeah. My leg is a piano! Exactly, and Lucy's got major issues. That yeah, she's she, got really she, much issues. Lucy needs really to go to issues. a goddamn therapist, I'm telling yeah. you that. I have, all of these characters need to go to a therapist. I'm talking to you, Kex. <laughs> okay, so and, and then we have good cop, bad cop. He does, he does, he dies. Good, good cop dies. That's good his, cop that, dies. That's his own fault. <laughs> no, that's not his fault. <laughs> no, <laughs> honey. Joking. I was joking. Yeah, then. and then we have bad cop. He's got major issues too. Like he's yeah. a, he's a problematic character in that sense. And business. Not really problematic. And that's just. Yeah, no, but he's problematic. Yeah. Yes, and he's easily easily swayed and everything. Yeah, so that's But at the same program. time, when you're talking about he's ambitious in the fact that he yeah, he's and loyal. Very, yeah, he's ambitious and loyal, unfortunately. He's like Blackfoot from Warriors. Yeah. They have the same energy. Uh then we have business. He's problematic as in he's a villain who He's wants... a villain, he's a good villain. Yeah. And then we have Batman who's problematic as in he's a narcissist. He's a, he's a narcissist who doesn't really care about others. Like, honestly, if you're writing a song to your girlfriend, you don't write the song about yourself. No, exactly. I've never been in a long-term relationship and even I know that, damn. Yeah, and exactly. And then we have... Now we have Rex and he's just he's just a mess of all of their problematic traits. Yeah. And so he's like down here because he's, he's the melting pot. He's yeah. the melting pot. He's he's like uh, the elephant's foot of this Lego Chernobyl. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he is. Like he's, like he's the worst part of it. The most <laughs> toxic. The elephant foot of the Lego Chernobyl. <laughs> Follow me on um, L Oof Arts on uh, Instagram and uh, I, I, and LF, L, L Oof Two Electric Boogaloo on Twitter. <laughs> on Tumblr, I mean, not Twitter. What the fucking hell? What the fucking hell, Mike? Uh, I don't have anything else. <laughs> okay. And uh, you can find my uh, my links in the bio. And this has been the Lego Movie Character Tier List. This has been Brigotsky and Elu. See you later. Signing out. See you later, alligator.